what's up guys welcome to Blake's garage today we got a new part for the Milwaukee packout system uh, I really love uh, this Milwaukee stuff it is really cool the packout system if you guys are not aware is this guy right here um, they're making a lot of new stuff which is really cool uh, we got this ice chest it's just one of the things right ice chest and what do we got on here we got a bottle opener most important deal uh, you know pretty cool little sealed up lunch pail holds ice really well it's it's awesome to take on road trips too because it's small and compact and you can pretty much keep what you need in there for the most part at least for me you know on a small road trip which is really nice and then all of these things interlock and you can you know build out your system accordingly i need to uh kind of put a bunch of stuff in these get these organized i want to get them organized up with some different fasteners and things like that um which i've kind of yet to do i've been working on my other toolboxes and i really got to get those dialed first but i do have all this stuff so you can, you can configure it any way you want which is really nice lock it in just kind of go to town on it and whatnot um one thing this one i have kind of configured out a little bit and this one's been working really well for me an odd use kind of but not for me is uh when i go to the racetrack with my m4 i take all of my gopro junk i don't want it to fall out uh, i put all my gopro stuff in here so all my memory cards all my batteries all of my accessories and it worked out really well uh, because before i usually put it in a backpack and it's kind of a pain in the butt and this thing can just go in my car very easily but we're not really here to talk about these options today let's put this kind of back we'll get it nice and even gosh the stuff works so amazing if you guys don't have any of this stuff i highly recommend just going to home depot and checking it out because i think you'll really like it especially especially if you guys are in construction trades and things like that you know you've seen it you know you want it now's the time to get it and the holidays are coming up so they'll probably be running a few deals i would think so this is today's video topic here this is the vacuum now this is just the tool only i got some uh, m18 batteries this runs off the m18 uh system and this is really cool i do have another one of their vacuums so we'll kind of compare it to that the uh porsche macon turbo over here needs a nice vacuuming so we'll kind of vacuum up the floors i absolutely love cordless vacuum systems uh, if you're on the job side, I'm an electrician, uh, you know, and I have one of these at work. Oh, actually, I have the handheld one, and I absolutely love it because I don't want to plug into stuff. I used to have one of those old, like, little shop vac ones you had to plug in, and the thing would blow out dust all over the room. And if you guys have ever used one of those, you know that it usually made the room dirtier, at least in the air, than anything. So um, I'm excited about this, guys. So let's get this thing opened up. We will throw a battery into it and see how it works. This part number is the 0970-20. Dash the dash 20 means that it's tool only. If it was a dash 21, that would mean it would come with one battery or 22, I think comes with two batteries. So uh, just keep that in mind. Pretty sweet, look at this. Boom, that. Sorry, my neighbors. Starting the Mo's lawn now. So it has a top, a little latch, very cool. And that has our accessories in it, which is really nice. So we have, you know, the little deep guy here, goes in the top. We have our little suction one like this. That's nice. No seal on this or anything. So uh, that's, it's kind of good too for uh, not having a seal because you get better suction that way. Um, I guess what I mean by that is like sometimes you'll see the felt on these and that kind of doesn't get you as much suction. So something to think about there. Also, we got this little guy. Uh, I guess this goes on to the end so you can kind of unscrew your piece. Is it reverse threaded? This little adapter here is actually for the power tool. So if you have any Milwaukee power tools that have a like a cleanup, basically like 
a saw or something along the lines of that. Uh, you could plug this in and then capture all your dust right in here. So that is actually really cool. Um, you know, you can make your job site a lot cleaner and a lot of job sites actually require that, right? So very, very nice. As you can see here, it just has the pack out grid system up on the top. So, you know, you can stack it all high. Right now, I kind of have my system configured like this, which I wouldn't normally do. Uh, normally, I was thinking I would have it pretty even like this. Boom. That looks very nice. I like that. Okay, so you can see the hose is kind of hanging out right now. So it looks like you would want to put this one um, on the outside here. So let's uh, swap that around real quick. Show you guys how quick it is. Pack out is super, super flexible as far as whatever you want to do. And really, I think it's the best system on the market right now. It's really nice. Okay, this goes around here. And, yep. It clicks in right there. It looks like on the back side here, we do have an exit port. Uh, and I'm guessing that is gonna allow you to either go with suction or a blowage. So you can make it suck or blow depending on what you want it to do. So it looks like we have two speeds here on the vacuum cleaner itself. So let's bust open this. Okay, so something you're gonna notice here, and I don't think it's a big deal. It's really not, you're not gonna empty it while it's attached but you know you couldn't open it if it was attached right you'd have to take uh, one piece off which is whatever it's super simple okay i thought it was a tilt but actually no maybe you maybe you actually could uh you do have to undo two latches on the side here boom and that pulls right off we do have a filter here which is nice yeah it's pretty uh pretty basic pretty straightforward this is our container here Looks like a pretty decent size as far as the volume goes of how much junk you're gonna be able to suck up in this thing. 1.8 liter wet capacity, which means, you know, up until you get to that filter in there uh, is about 1.8 liters. And then total dry capacity is 2.5 liters worth of junk. So that is great. That's actually quite a bit. The thing weighs 11.3 pounds, so it's pretty lightweight. It's not gonna add you know, a ton of weight to your cart. If you already have a bunch of tools in this thing, it already weighs, you know, a pretty decent amount. So let's throw a battery in here and try it out, huh? I'd recommend buying this in a kit if you do not already have batteries. We're gonna throw in an M18. This is a nine amp hour battery right here. So we'll just throw that in this. All right. And it looks like it definitely has the capacity to Looks like go up to at least the you know 12 amp hour battery. So it looks like it covers all the sizing there, which you know you would expect from Milwaukee. They're not gonna engineer it to do not all of their system. Some people this might not look that dirty, but uh for my cars it's pretty dirty. You can see the floor here, got some junk on it. I like to have my interior pretty dang spotless. I like to clean my cars. It's probably been at least uh two weeks since I've uh, cleaned that out, and I did go to the snow, so you know, that makes a bit of a difference. So let's try this thing out. Something that's pretty cool that I think I just noticed is it looks like this thing is gonna work as a seat as well. You know what, it says no step, so don't step on it, but depending on your weight, you can get away with sitting on it. Okay, so it obviously, you know, will vacuum stuff up, but I do have another Milwaukee vacuum and I kind of want to compare the two. Backpack vac. What does that mean? That means it actually can go on your back. But I've been using this for uh, cleaning my car for quite some time now. I think I've had this at least over a year. I have a nine amp M18 fuel battery in here. Um, I really like the way that this one, you know, removes and everything. It's really nice if you need to clean up around the shop and anything like that. And it has really good suction. However, uh, we can compare the suction on the two. We got, you know, two modes on this one as well. So as you can see, hose sizing, smaller on the pack out system. Um, I'm pretty sure the backpack sucks a bit harder 
than this guy, than the actual pack out system one, but let me try it on some stuff down here and we'll see how that works. I don't know if this means anything. It's not really scientific at all. I don't really have any sort of like CFM flow meter or anything like that. But this smaller one picks up my floor mat a little bit stronger than this bigger one. Now that may just be because of the velocity from the orifice size here. Um, you know, so I could, I guess, step it down to, uh, you know, to these things and kind of see the difference with these. Um, we have kind of the similar situation going on. As you can see again, this smaller one is the pack out system and this other one is the backpack. So what we're working with here Unfortunately, I can't switch because the hoses are a different size, but yeah, let's try this out. See how it works. So here's my little test here. This is completely non-scientific, but this is kind of the test. Backpack, see how much it lifts up. This is a uh, new pack out. You kind of saw that non-scientific test of basically how much does it pull up the floor mat. To me, that's like sucking power. Uh, it does look like this guy, the backpack, has a bit more juice, which to me kind of makes sense because it seems like the, the motor, the brushless motor on this one, is quite a bit bigger. Now, let's see. This is fuel, so I guess this one is brushless as well. But, I don't know. It just, I mean, I guess it has a lot of volume area up in this top plastic part, but it just doesn't seem to, uh, to suck as hard. Now, does that matter? No, because guess what? This thing is great. It actually works totally fine, so I don't see any issues with that. So I really like it. Um, mainly, this one is gonna be better for most guys because unless you're like a laborer, which I don't know, I'm not, but if you are, for a laborer, this thing would probably work better because you know it's gonna be on your backpack. If you're just cleaning up your job site every once in a while, um, when you get in and you know you're all finished up, it looks like this one is gonna work perfectly fine for you as well because you can put it on your pack out system. So um, I really do like both of these. They're great. Let's see if you forget to take your hose off or your, you know, your fitting. Yeah, you kind of can still leave it on there if you want to it looks a little weird you're gonna want to throw it in the top but that's really cool um overall i really like this it kind of has the european mode and by that if you guys know about the milwaukee pack out stuff the european stuff is primarily black uh so where these cases are black and then the accent colors are kind of red so it kind of has that more of the euro look i know some guys import these cases um and get the black ones, which which is kind of cool. You know, that's kind of that that trick niche stuff, if you will. But I'm gonna continue to vacuum out the car with this. Um, I'm really liking this system, though. It's nice. I'll show you this stuff later, guys. Um, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I have a bunch of stuff going on. Um, I'm building out these toolboxes here. Just got this uh, new Milwaukee one. And I'm building out this part here, which I'm actually really liking this five drawer. Got a bunch of the Milwaukee stuff, you know? So if you can see, I have a lot of tools. Um, all these toolboxes are full of tools and cool cars and things like that. But I'm in the middle of needing to organize my garage, which I'm sure a lot of you guys feel the same way. And I really do feel like this is a great organizational system. I just gotta figure out what I wanna do with it to, I, I, I wanna start building out way more stuff with the pack out system, because I think it's rad. I'm just gonna clean away on this interior and uh, yeah, make sure that works, which I'm sure it does. Now one, one main advantage that I'll point out, this guy, uh, I use this for cleaning out all my cars, which works amazing. I use it for cleaning up junk, vacuuming up wet stuff, whatever. Uh, the disadvantage to this, and 
Obviously it's called a backpack for a reason, but when you're not wearing it as a backpack, it can tumble over. It can fall over, it can bump against your car, stuff like that. So this guy is a lot better. And I do have like a 6.5 horsepower, you know, shot back. And you know the last time I pulled that out? Uh, well, haven't pulled it out since I've gotten this. So, you know, I haven't actually found a need for a shot back anymore. The thing just takes up a ton of space and yeah, these things are the way to go, man. Battery power is where it's at. So thanks for watching guys. We'll talk to you soon. Make sure to subscribe later and rinse your own.